there Aquarius so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I now offer extended readings I'm still doing the personal readings but I've now added that on as an option so if you're interested please check out the description box below if you do plan on subscribing please make sure to hit the notification button that way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos and if this reading resonates please make sure to hit the like button as well so I'm going to be doing past present and future it's still going to be a love reading okay Aquarius and for the extended reading I'm going to be pulling out cards for your person's headspace, their heart space, and the overall energy and advice. And there could very well be messages for you as well. Okay, so let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Aquarius, please? The past energy for Aquarius. The past energy for Aquarius. Past energy for Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay, one more. The past energy for Aquarius, please. Okay. The past energy for Aquarius. The magician in reverse. Uh, strength. With the two of pentacles interesting and the present energy the high priestess in reverse the queen of cups and the sun and the future energy the eight of wands in reverse the chariot The world card in reverse with the hangman in reverse what's going on here and the overall the queen of swords so you're showing up as the queen of swords you're trying to be logical and practical this is also you wanting the truth here wanting there to be honesty okay so i feel like you're standing firm and that's your card right there however for the past energy you see the magician card in reverse with strength and the two of pentacles so this is telling me that you had to make a balanced choice possibly regarding a specific situation so this could have been you weighing your options here and standing firmly with strength so when i clarify i'll get a better understanding of what's going on here like why the magician card is showing up in reverse so when the magician card is showing up in the upright this is someone that's having all the tools and resources to manifest whatever their heart desires here so i feel like regarding a specific connection something didn't pan out okay and i feel like um someone wasn't listening to their intuition or there was a lack of clarity however i do see you showing up as a queen of cups as well so you're also very loving and very nurturing so i feel like you are balanced here as a queen of cups and the queen of swords and i do see positive changes here with the sun card so right now i feel like there may not even be communication between you and the specific person however um i see someone having to make a choice with determination here and i don't see an end to a cycle but the hangman is showing up in reverse here so this is someone that's having to gain some sort of awareness okay in regards to this connection here so let's clarify the queen of swords for the overall Queen of Swords for Aquarius, please. The Queen of Swords. Okay. So the Queen of Swords for Aquarius, please. What I can do this. The Queen of Swords for Aquarius, please. The two of wands in reverse. The five of wands, interesting. And 
the nine of wands here wow look a lot of wands but it seems like um this is you not wanting there to be confusion or conflict with the five of wands So this could have been you like resisting or building up walls here. Yeah, the nine of wands talks about someone feeling overwhelmed. And being resistant. And they could have been internally conflicted here with the five of wands or there could have been conflict between you and the specific person so i kind of see you kind of standing firmly as a queen of swords so you could have dealt with a confusing situation or someone could have been indecisive so let's clarify the magician card in reverse there you go with the three of wands so the two of wands is showing up in reverse and the three of wands so there could have been a delay here or some waiting involved, okay? Um, and there you go, the Fool. In regards to embarking on this brand new beginning with the Fool card. And that's where the conflict was. So it's like this delay created this conflict, possibly. And that's why the Magician card is showing up in reverse here. So there could have been self-sabotage, even. So let's clarify strength. I know there was someone that had a lot of love for you, but they were not being expressive about it, or they were wearing a mask. Let's see, what is this? There we go. They weren't making an offer with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And there you go, the King of Pentacles. This is interesting. So there was a potential for stability here. There was love, stability. You could have shared a very strong bond with this person, but yet there was conflict with the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands here. So let's clarify the Two of Pentacles. There you go, justice. The sun, again, twice. And the ten of wands. I feel like this is you having to make a balanced choice even though it could have been quite stressful, okay? There was like a heaviness to this, deci this decision. But with justice and the sun, I feel like you were aware that there had to be positive changes. There had to be balance here. And things had to be made right. Okay? So let's clarify the High Priestess in reverse. There you go. So someone was not listening to their intuition and they were not communicating. So it, the, the Queen of Wands is showing up in the upright. Now the King of Swords is showing up in reverse. And there you go, the Ten of Swords. And that was causing someone a lot of pain. So I see the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So it's possible that this person wanted there to be positive changes. They wanted to make things right. But it's like um, they were not communicating this to you. Someone could have been feeling overwhelmed. And there you go, the Ten of Pentacles. So there was a potential for stability here. And I do see a match with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. But interesting is the King of Swords that's showing up in reverse here. So someone was not expressing how they felt towards you, but they were thinking about you with the Seven of Pentacles. They were reflecting on this connection, okay? And they were seeing you as someone that was charming, attractive, and charismatic. So all three queens are here. And the Magician interesting it's like someone wanting to manifest this connection into the 3d so in the past it's like there was difficulty there was conflict 
There was a potential to manifest this connection into the 3D, but someone was not listening to their intuition. So let's clarify the sun. The seven of cups. Let me get two other cards. Someone was looking at their options here. The Six of Cups. Let me get another card. The Hermit. There's someone that's wanting there to be positive changes within this dynamic. They're wanting to heal things. Um, but there's clearly a disconnect here with the lover's card showing up in reverse. There could even be confusion with the seven of cups. Let me get another card. Yep, it's like the Nine of Pentacles showing up in reverse here. So I feel like somebody's wanting there to be positive changes. They're wanting to heal the conflict within this connection. Or it hasn't been healed here, and that's why the Nine of Pentacles is showing up in reverse. So maybe you pulled your energy back to kind of focus on yourself here. So let's clarify the Eight of Wands in reverse. There you go, the Seven of Wands is showing up in reverse. So there's someone that's not really putting in the effort towards communication, okay? But look at that, I see the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups here. So I don't see you possibly communicating here. So with this specific Queen of Cups, she has a cup covered. There's all four queens here. Oh, all three queens? Oh, <laughs> two queen of cups. So, someone seeing you is not putting any effort towards communication. But let's clarify the chariot. Or you could feel like this person is not putting any effort towards communicating. So let's clarify the chariot. And that's why the ace of cups is showing up in reverse. So this is someone that's having to make a choice with determination to move forward here. So the Page of Swords talks about communication, but someone having to gain a sense of clarity here. Because I feel like there's someone that's wanting to express how they feel with the Page of Cups. But the Ace of Cups is showing up in reverse. So this is telling me that this is a choice someone has to make. And there could very well be confusion here. So let's clarify the world card in reverse with the hangman in reverse. But I don't see an end to a cycle though. Even though there is confusion. Okay, so maybe there's there's still confusion here with the three of pentacles in reverse. And you could be dealing with this emperor, okay? That's confused, but it's like they're they're trying to figure out ways to work out this situation to work out, sorry. And they're wanting there to be a reconciliation though with the tower in reverse. But this could also be someone that's having to gain some sort of awareness. So that's why the magician card is showing up in reverse. The high priestess is showing up in reverse. The hangman in reverse. And now the tower in reverse. Let me get one more card. There you go. So this person has to look at things from a different perspective in order to gain insight on what to do here. So maybe they were looking at their options and it was just only causing um, confusion even. So let me get further insight from the Intimate Tarot. For Aquarius, please.
Aquarius. The Queen of Swords again. So again, you're showing up as someone that's being very logical, practical, wanting the truth, standing firmly as a Queen of Swords, okay? And I do see the potential for a brand new beginning here with the Fool card. So this could even be you embarking on a brand new beginning since that's your card right there. But let me get another card. Uh, the King of Wands. So someone's seeing you. So someone has a lot of passion towards you. So I do see a match here with the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Okay. But there could very well be pain between the both of you here with the Three of Swords. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Okay, so a match. Temperance. So someone seeing you as being very balanced, patient even. But it's like... The world. So there has to be an end to a cycle here. But someone seeing you in a very high regard. And there could even be traveling involved with the world card. It doesn't have to be for everyone. Or like there's a distance between you and this person. And that's why there could be conflict. And there you go, the Eight of Swords. And that's why there could be fear-based thoughts. Um, with the Three of Swords, the Eight of Swords. That tends to be self-imposed. That could be the reason why there's conflict though. And there you go, the Page of Pentacles. So someone is cautious. But they're also trying to gain insight into the way you feel towards them. That's why they're cautious. Let me get one more card. Oh boy. So it's like the Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So someone has to communicate effectively in regards to the way they feel here. Because I do see a potential for a passionate new beginning. So let me see. Oops. Let me get a card from the Oracle deck for Aquarius, please. Aquarius, please. Okay. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Card number 43, but which equals to 7. And relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. So the Eight of Swords. Um, that talks about a pattern. So the world talks about like there having to be an end to a cycle or changes here. Okay. So that's my reading for you, Aquarius, and I'll see you in the extended. Take care now.